corporate rate that many Republicans say can't be done without running up the deficit. So here's the bottom line. This is not your Republican grandfather's tax plan, but the bigger question, will it spark the economy? To my panel, Robert Wolf, 32 Advisors, founder and CEO, and now Fox News contributor, along with Ford O'Connell, Civic PAC Forum chairman, and uh, also Chip Roy, Texas Public Policy Foundation director. Ford, let me start with you. Uh, you know, listen, this, is, this, is, this reminds me of what Steve Bannon talked about, uh, economic nationalism, the middle class, middle America, they come first and foremost, even before the fat cats that normally were always in bed with the uh, Republicans. Well, Charles, you're absolutely right. Look, there is a reason why true tax reform has not been done in 31 years, and the reason is very simple. The first reason is, is Republicans get crushed in the messaging game until you need significant Democratic buy-in. Look at what Trump is doing. This is all about framing the debate. He's trying to take a dagger out of the Democrats' messaging arsenal and put a populist little twist on it by saying, guess what? You're not going to slime this plan by saying that the GOP only panders to the rich. So this is a lot about messaging. Don't lose your mind just yet on the exact details in terms of putting people back to work. Now, Robert, here's the thing, though. Republicans historically have been against higher taxes for the rich because they pay the overwhelming majority of taxes to begin with. Also, they provide this sort of investments that move the economy, yeah. and you put them in a bind, they can't do both. You know, I think that the president needs a legislative win. If you go, want to go to 15 percent and you want to try to cut taxes in the wealthy, you're not going to get that past reconciliation because the budget will explode. Therefore, you have to try to get 60 votes and have a bipartisan bill. So I'm not surprised he's going down two different paths. Is this the compromise, though? Do you get 15 percent corporate rate from, Repub from Democrats by hiking taxes on the rich? No, you're not getting 15 percent, period. It will just explode the budget. You're just not going to get that done. It's too far off from being revenue neutral. Roy, uh, you were former chief of staff for Senator Ted Cruz. He's going to unveil uh, a tax plan tomorrow. He's going to be on with Maria Bartiromo. And... I would, I would assume it's going to be more in line of conservative tax policy, uh, you know, some of the fiscal discipline, maybe lower spending. I remember that used to be popular among Republicans as well. Uh, will there be some difference between that and what we heard from President Trump today? Well, heaven forbid we actually be concerned about spending and, and getting our budget in order. But I think what you're going to see from Senator Cruz, we saw a little bit of it today, it's very much in line with what the president is talking about. And the president's right to be focusing on a message that focuses on growth, doesn't let the Democrats use their usual playbook to beat them over the head about tax cuts for the rich, when in fact what we're talking about is breaking out of this anemic 1% to 2% growth we've been stuck with for over eight years. You go back to what we're dealing with, it's like it was during Jimmy Carter, 1% you know, economic growth growth. How did we get out of that? By getting the tax burden off of the American people, freeing up the entrepreneurial spirit, getting growth, and we had 7 percent growth by 1984. That's how you get our budget in order, and that's how you get people well, having jobs and getting the economy What's wrong with tax cuts going. across the board, though? What's wrong with uh, giving everyone a tax break here? Well, I think, uh, by and large, we should be looking at a tax break across the board. But in particular, as you look at what Senator Cruz talked about, getting the corporate rate reductions down so we can get growth, those aren't for big, bad corporations. It's by getting, it's getting economic growth going by getting the corporate rate in line with the rest of the industrialized world. And we can do that. But the second part is simplifying the code. The burden on the economy by the complex tax code is extraordinary. And it's actually damaging the very growth we're trying to create. So tax simplification and rate reductions is what we need. Need to get everything right. going. We all, but, we, but, we all agree but, on that. We all agree on that, Ford. There's no doubt no, about that. No, we absolutely yeah. all do agree on that. But we also have to understand to make that happen, you're going to need at least eight Democratic votes in the Senate. And we know darn well that Chuck Schumer is not going to have a giveaway on both sides. So we know that if we want to get, the, if we want to make this a jobs bill that leads to higher wages and puts money back in the hands of hardworking Americans, there is going to have to be some com so compromise. What about, Ford, is, what about Mitch McConnell uh, changing the rules? What about well, Mitch McConnell well, that's in. exactly look uh, that's exactly what should happen Mitch McConnell should kill the legislative filibuster because there's one thing that I know is true to his death in taxes that when the Democrats take back the White House and the Senate that is precisely what they're going to do we should be trying to get Trump's agenda through right now through all means necessary Robert. but the most important, the second, most important let, me bring, let me bring Robert in please a, a couple things one no disrespect Senator Cruz's plan is dead on arrival Two, it wasn't the Democrats who just said there'll be no tax cuts for the wealthy that was President Trump. So President Trump just said his plan. There will be no tax cuts for the wealthy. It will go to the middle class. That wasn't the Democrats' plan. That was the Republican president's plan of the United the, States. I guess the problem, though, right, is because, uh, you know, we know that the, the upper echelon of uh, income earners in America pay
they overwhelmingly pay their taxes. I'm right, right there with you. So, I so, you. so, so having having said that, having said that, is there room to raise their taxes and spur investment and also include a 15 percent? I mean, we both we all agree. I, eight Democrat votes is a bridge too far. Uh, and we're not sure. Ultimately, maybe McConnell will come to the rescue and figure out a different well, way to get that. You through. don't need McConnell to the rescue because they have reconciliation. They can get 51 votes and put their tax plan through. That but, being but said, they, they I won't think they get want a through. permanent tax plan as well. Yeah, that's not going to happen. They're, well, you're that's not exactly. Get... But that, I that think that's exactly the point. You can get significant middle class tax cuts through budget reconciliation right. only. If you actually want true tax reform, it's going to require Pass. at least eight Democrats in the totally Senate, agree. and that's what de Donald Trump wants. He wants to go big for the Time and he wants those eight Democrats. Chip, the bottom line, though, this is essentially what, what President Trump ran on, and and I think he, I think it mattered more to him after the Obamacare fiasco, where he told the leaders of the GOP here, you take it, you know how to do it, you've been at this for a long time, and they, and they turn out they botched it. He's taking this control of this. He's hitting the road. He's hitting 13 states. He's bolstering his communications team. But more than anything else, he is saying to the folks in the heartland, I am your president, and I'll get this done no matter what it takes. Well, that's exactly right, and he's right to take that messaging approach. But going back to the arguments before about Senator Cruz's plan, uh, I think Senator Cruz talked about the possibility of one, two, three, four different rates. Uh, he's Why not is Cruz saying coming out with a tax plan anyway? Why do these other Republicans have tax plans? Why does the GOP? I mean, we've got one president. Why, why muddy the waters with all these different plans anyway? Well, because the point about coming out with an idea is to get something out there in the water to help shape the debate in the Senate. What the president is doing properly is trying to put pressure on Senator McConnell and the leadership to do their job. I agree we can do it through reconciliation, but importantly, unlike Obamacare, we actually need to get a message out there to demand that we get the reform in the first place and force votes to start with a conservative plan that limits, reduces rates. Don't start on the Democrats' playing field. Start on our playing field to reduce rates and try to get this done the right way. Robert, real quick. Well, just uh, we, we, we've had eight years without 3% uh, no. GDP growth, right? And a lot of people are pointing to those high regulations, the high tax burden.